Hello, welcome back to my channel. It's Pixie again, and if you're new here, welcome. My name is Pixie. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Whatever you happy doing, you're watching this. I hope you're doing famously and safely. And today, tonight, tonight, we're gonna do a kind of around the house type vlog. So, yeah, let's do this. Nothing interesting, nothing special, just house. Vlogmas. Yes. Yay. I made peanut brittle, which I probably should have vlogged that but I'm a little rusty. I haven't made it in years, so I wanted to make sure I could do it. If you want to see how I make it, let me know because I'm probably gonna have to make another batch before the holidays are over. I've already gotten two requests for it, but yay for that. Awesome. Hooray for crappy porch lighting. Um, I wanted to show you the porch tree close up. I know in my crappy Christmas decorations vlog, um, it got replaced with music. <laughs> so anything I was saying, like, because I was copyright claimed or whatever on that video and I tried to fix it, it was botched because YouTube was like, just pick our music. And then it went over like my entire audio instead of just like going over that song that was copyright claimed and I should have just left it as is because it got rid of all of my talking but so I wanted to show you the porch tree because it's a funny story at least it's funny to me it's one of those haha -ha, like family stories and uh it all started when my mom broke her hip it, towards the end of 2019 and she came home for Christmas. Was it last year? She came home for Christmas and then went back into rehab before like the world shut down and did its crazy thing. But I had asked her, I was like, you know, I would love a porch tree. And she was like, oh, just take my tree out of the garage because we're probably not going to set it up this year. And I guess while my mom was in rehabilitation for her hip, my stepdad like cleaned out the garage and like curbed her Christmas tree for whatever reason. He's also Dutch. I'm not sure if that's like a point to the story, but like he just said the tree was in the way. So he literally trashed the tree. So my mom was mad and she was like, go buy me a freaking tree. And then she gave me said Christmas tree. So now I have a, I think it's about six feet. It's not the best tree ever, but I kind of like it because it has character. You know, it's not like, one of those $400 trees from Home Depot. <laughs> so basically after that, my stepdad went out into the world, brought home a tree, she gave it to me, I set it up on the porch, and I also inherited like some of her Christmas decorations and ornaments. So what I call inside, like our main tree, I call the expensive tree because those are all the ornaments Ronnie and I picked out together and Disney ornaments, that's the majority of the tree. Those are like $25 before like an annual pass holder discount. So yeah, that's the fancy tree. But this tree is basically such a mishmash of ornaments. Like the wildlife animals I bought that I hauled are probably the newest ones on this tree. Um, actually, yeah, they are. But these are the ornaments that my mom used to put on our tree growing up. These are the ornaments I made when I was little, <laughs> you know, like it, I want, and a lot of the ornaments are thrifted, hand-me-down, stuff like that, and nature theme. There's a lot of birds from like Michael's, but, excuse me, um, what I wanted originally was just to have a tree on the porch, but then it kind of like grew into a major like, what, what, like heirloom, I guess, like keeping that spirit of our old Christmases alive when my mom would host Christmas. So now when she comes over, she gets to enjoy the tree with all the old, old ornaments on it. And then I've been adding new ones here and there. 
but it's just like a little touch of tradition, I guess. Like, I don't even care if the ornaments from the 80s. Like, originally I just wanted to go to thrift stores. I may still do this. I want to go thrifting this week before actual Christmas. <laughs> um, and I wanted, like, a, a tree that was, like, completely thrifted. But it's still secondhand. So, like, that's kind of thrifted, you know? So I think I have exactly two hours before the timer goes off. So I think I'm going to show you bits of the tree. And... Hopefully you'll enjoy the complete randomness and chaos of it because I like what I like. Like my whole house isn't themed. If it's Christmas and I like it, I'm gonna put it in my house. Like some people do certain colors, some people only collect certain ornaments, but I like the mishmash of things because everything has meaning behind it. Not just red and gold or whatever. Like you're gonna see some weird pieces <laughs> on this tree they're just like why but just because like they've been a part of our family for a while so i'm gonna stop talking and just show you the tree and do close-ups of like certain ornaments and hopefully the background noise isn't too bad because if you don't know i live by a gas station that's 24 hours so anyways on to the porch tree tour tour i guess <laughs> Anyway, yeah, moving on. My goal is just to collect like vintage random ornaments like all year round. <laughs> so hopefully when I go to Goodwill, maybe Sunday or Monday, the Christmas stuff won't be like totally picked through and I can run into like just some random vintage rejected ornaments. I want the tree to be like as random as possible and just keep adding to it. I love trees that are just like 
a chaotic mess. Like, there's no rhyme or reason of why this ornament's here, and I want every single branch filled. So it's like my tree that I get to do whatever with. Even though I love me and Ronnie's tree in the living room, it just seems like so formal, like all the brand new Disney ornaments. I want something that's like, just like I said, chaos. Doesn't make sense. Random thrifted tree. Secondhand random, yeah. <laughs> But, like, I've seen jewelry trees, like, that's a good idea, like, just hanging broken necklace pieces on the tree. Like, the wheels are turning. Uh, as soon as I ended that last clip, I remembered I have a whole last box of ornaments to hang on this tree. So we're gonna do that. <laughs> I, yeah, holiday season too much stuff to do and too much stuff going on so yeah let's do this <laughs> I feel so dumb I was like I know I have more ornaments somewhere and I was like oh yeah I do in the living room which I would show you our fancy tree but Ronnie's sleeping so it's kind of hard so that might be a separate vlog for vlogmas if anybody wants to see a bunch of random Disney ornaments I got you <laughs> But that's not tonight. I don't want to wake him up. And it's his birthday tomorrow, by the way. So we're going to go to uh, Lou Gardens in Orlando to see all the Christmas lights and have a nice dinner. So I'm super excited about that. But yeah, let's finish decorating this tree since I, I know things. <laughs> and I remember things eventually. So yeah.
that little guy doesn't have a hook or a place for one. So, oh, look at his whiskers. Peter is so old. This guy's an old man. <laughs> so now he has a little place right here by the fat reindeer. Poor little guy. Anyway. <laughs> I know I said I was going to wait until after Christmas and all that stuff to start going through my closet, but... I can't even move a hanger. We're going to go through this tonight. <laughs> okay, so what I'm going to do is move these shoes and I'm just going to start pulling out. It's all tops. It's all shirts, tops, vests. And I'm going to determine if I'm going to try it on or put it back if like, I know it fits and then convince myself to wear it <laughs> because I'm tired of wearing black tank tops. It's like all I grab when I'm just tired and the lighting is so messed up right now because I don't know what to do. Because if I turn that one on, you're not going to be able to see anything. Anyway, um, yeah, we got to do this. It's bothering me. I can't even move a hanger left to right so <sighs> why do I do this to myself why why so I'm gonna pull try on keep and then if I'm in between something I'll show you at the end of the clip because I don't want this vlog to be forever but that is bothering me so much so I'm just gonna speed it up and pull my hair out apparently I'm just gonna speed it up get through it and I'll show you the piles and like what I'm debating on getting rid of if there's anything but I gotta downsize it I'm sure there's stuff in here that I haven't worn that I won't fit into etc etc um, yeah it'll be an adventure and that'll probably be the end of the vlog after I wrap it up but yeah we're gonna go through some tops now so I'm scared. I'm always scared of my own closet because I know how much crap I have. So let's do this, yay!
huge freaking pile here to hang back up. Um, yeah, it's gonna be fun putting all that back, but at least I'll be able to move hangers until I try these on. So, yeah. Look, look at it, look at it. It'll be full again in like five minutes. Oh my goodness, there's space. Look at that. Look at that. You can move them. I have to try all of this on. And I don't want to because I'm afraid I'm going to want to keep everything. So I might just end up with another garment rack. Whew, okay. Anytime I tackle like the tiniest bit of my closet, I get overwhelmed and I'm like, <sighs> can I just keep it all and ignore the fact that I can't keep it all. Can I? Yeah? Okay. No, I'm kidding. I will actually tackle this new pile of tops I have. But <clears throat> a lot of the things I've keep, I've, I've keep, I have words, I promise. I've kept because of sentimental value and eventually want to wear again. I just, I just need a restart. Like, boop, restart. No more jean shorts, no more tank tops. We're gonna wear fun stuff. If I'm wearing a tank top, it better be under something awesome. You know, like, I just need to break out of the cycle. Not just for date night, not just for Disney, not just for YouTube and little mini Instagram photo shoots or whatever. I need to just wear the stuff. But I talked about this a while back, a couple of videos back. Maybe it was the last video. I don't know. Vlogmas is running together, but yeah. Anyway, thank you for joining me in this super random around the house type vlog. Um, we're in the home stretch, as I said last video. Only a couple more left. Well, I say a couple, only a week's worth left. So tomorrow, today, is Ronnie's birthday. I might film a little bit of that and just include it in an extra video, like as an extra in the next video, because I want to experience it myself. I don't want to focus on vlogging the whole thing. Plus it's his birthday, I want to spend time with him. So I'm going to try to get a couple clips. I will bring my camera tomorrow night. Um, I'll link where we're going down below if you're interested in that kind of thing and you're in Central Florida. It'll be our first time, but the lights are supposed to be freaking spectacular. Awesome amazing mind-blowing and yeah I'm really excited for it and for Ronnie's birthday so I'm looking forward to that tomorrow but otherwise I'm gonna do another vlogmas and like I said just you know <laughs> you know um, but yeah uh, I am overwhelmed by my own closet and it's my own fault because I bought all these clothes for the most part unless they're gifts of course but it's hard to decide, like, what do I need? What am I actually gonna wear? Am I gonna regret that? I hate the pressure of the closet cleaning. Anyway, thank you for joining me in this super random vlogmas. Before I keep talking and it's three hours long, I love you. I hope you're wearing whatever makes you happy. If other people don't like it, it doesn't matter. The whole point of this channel is being yourself and feeling good in what you wear and what you do, as long as it's not hurting anybody else. If people have anything to say, just ignore them, you know. Happy Vlogmas. I will see you tomorrow. Love you so much. Bye. Awkward Pixie out. Love you. Bye. Awkward Pixie out. Love you. Bye. Awkward. Bye. Love you. Bye.